Hello, everyone. Yes, we are going here. Um, I have decided to do a historical breakdown and playthrough of Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, yeah, for those of you who have watched my other videos um, on Land of War the beginning, you know I don't have a lot of nice things to say about Vanguard. Um, <laughs> uh, this game is probably the pinnacle of Call of Duty's descent into uh, ridiculousness. It's supposed to be set during World War II, but honestly, they don't. Whoever developed this game did not give half of a fuck about historical accuracy or authenticity. So, I mean, we'll just start from the beginning, the first mission. Um, because, you know, I, I've been wanting to do this series of videos before. I know, like, other YouTubers have done this, but I really want to do my own take on Vanguard, and I really just want to rip that band-aid off, so... We'll start with the first mission, Phoenix, um, and I will, of course, give some, you know, because I'm a World War II history nerd, I, you know, I guess we'll just dive right in. Okay, so the first mission, Phoenix. Oh, let's restart. Now I'll do recruit. It's easier to give commentary and all when I'm just, you know, when it's easier. Nazi Germany. The final push into the heart of darkness. The SOE had recruited the six of us under my command for one reason. To retrieve files on the top secret Project Phoenix, the last gasp of the Third Reich. A coalition of Allied commandos thrown together and aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. This was meant to be our first and only mission. Okay. Um, to start with, I know this is Call of Duty just being Call of Duty, you know, inventing, you know, wild scenarios, um, and with a historical backdrop, but even for them, this is... It, it, this is ridiculous. Um, this mission is set in April of 1945. Like, Nazi Germany is, like, within, like, less than a month of being defeated. There's no need to send in a special forces team to take out, you know, to, to do behind-the-line sabotage of the Third Reich. The, the Nazi regime is pretty much dead. Like, the Russians are, are like, at, they're in Berlin right now. Most of Germany's in ruins... Um, the Wehrmacht is all but destroyed. Like, there's no need to send in this mission. Uh, like, y you don't need to do that. There's no, like, the Reich is gone. Uh, but that's really just the beginning of this torture session, so... Okay. Ham Hamburg. Um... Okay, wait. Hell of a world. Hold on. Um, I can't pause. I can't get a clear picture when I pause, but if you saw, the city is burning, but all the lights are on. Um, if Hamburg is in the middle of an air raid right now, you would not have lights on in the city. They would be darkened, you know, because you don't want the bombers being able to see their target. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, uh... Whatever. That's really the least of this game's problems. What's up the same here? Oh, good lord. That's uh, fuck. Fuck. I know Call of Duty's trying to do the diversity shit, but... You know... When you're making a... If you're gonna set the game in World War II... Like, try to... At least try to make it historically authentic or so... Why would the Allies have this, like, diverse coalition of secret special forces agents, you know, working together like that? Especially since, like, yeah, the Soviet Union and the and the rest of the Allies, like, they get along, like, you know, they have a common enemy, but they're they're not going to be fucking, like, cooperating with each other on, on, on like, like, like this. Especially since the Soviets are at Berlin's doorstep, they wouldn't send, like... A Russian sniper to help the British now. Like the the British aren't going to reach Ber like the the rest of the Allies are not going to reach Berlin. Oh fuck! 
Um, and also, I don't know if you saw the commanding officer there was black. Um, he was a, a black British man, um, Arthur Kingsley. Now, I understand Call of Duty is trying to be like all, they're trying to be woke, they're trying to like have all the, you know, diversity and, you know, stuff. And, you know, there were actually um, a few black servicemen who served in the British Army during World War II, but um, while the British weren't as discriminatory as the their American counterparts when it came to race, you still wouldn't have a black man being in charge of an operation like this, especially being the leader, you know. Um, like, the Allies were really not, not all that progressive in the 1940s. I mean, by today's standards. But back then, you know, obviously they were better than the Nazis, but um, this game is just like, it really takes indecent liberties with history look okay if i keep talking we're never going to get through this level so yeah let's go he has a japanese submachine gun <laughs> type go. 100 <laughs> how the fuck did he get that here in europe oh it's a sten with a janky suppressor um, okay, the stem looks good. At least the magazine count. The, the, the magazine holds 32 rounds. Okay, at least I got that right. I mean, the stem is a hard gun to fuck up, so... <laughs> I jacked the train to Humper. Um, wouldn't the Allies have bombed this train line, like, a long time ago? I don't know. Who's going first? Novak. Who never appears in another mission, by the way. My character never appears in another mission. Oh, I'm supposed to open this door. Apparently I have a... Oh, Webley Service Revolver. And, yep, it looks good. Um, top break revolver. Yep, they got that right, at least. Fuck? Oh, okay. His uniform... His, uh... His uniform does not look right. Um... That German soldier is wearing winter clothes, like... It's the middle of April in Germany. You're not going to be wearing, like, e Eastern Front winter clothes, but whatever. Um, I could nitpick all day with this game, really. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Oh, okay. Okay, I understand they probably did this so they could sell in European markets, but removing the swastika, like, come on. I mean, okay, you know, a lot of games do that. It's because it's restrictive and how you can sell in Europe, but still, it kind of irks me. But if I'm going to be killing Nazis, I want I want to actually be killing Nazis. His uniform looks okay. I mean, it still looks a little too heavy clothing to be... 1945. Uh, oh, oh, fuck. The MP40 did not have 64 round drum magazines. It had 32 round drum magazines. There are thir thir no 32 round um, box magazines. So, yeah, that's only the first in a long line of Call of Duty butchering uh, World War II era guns. At least that MP40 looks good. Actually, yeah. Hey, at least I got that one right. Take one cherry out. I bet the trover takes the other. Again, why are they wearing winter clothes in the in the spring? Okay. She's good. The on this Sten looks kind of weird. Um, I don't think... I mean, Stens did have suppressors, but I don't think it... I don't think they looked like that. I think they were, like, They were larger. There's a ledge? What ledge? 
Take that ledge on the side. Oh, that's awfully convenient. And also the Germans will leave these little ledges so that the secret agents can... What the... Oh, you're shitting me. You are... You are absolutely shitting me. This looks like a... That shotgun looks like a Becker M1899. Now, this was a real shotgun, but... Um, there were like maybe a hundred, a hundred and fifty of those made, and they weren't military issue. These are like, these are like ornate hunting shotguns, like given to German aristocrats, like like Fons and Grafs, like you know. And a Volkssturmgewehr, um, also real. Um, this is period accurate. This is 1945. Um, so yeah, that that that's fine. Um, it's inaccurately depicted as like a machine gun in the game, and I think they were semi-auto only. Where'd my other gun go? Get, I want to get rid of this, this this fucking thing. But yeah, the German army, aside from the Luftwaffe, which had um, some drilling shotguns, the German military did not have any military-issue shotguns during World War II. Oh, an SCG-44. Oh, that's be that. Looks okay. Um, so much for our secret mission. Looks like we're doing this the hard way. Get on the other train and blank those down. The rate of fire is a little slow, but fuck. <laughs> uh, should have jumped higher, I guess. Bloody hell! Save some for us, Novak. Really? I'm not killing that many. I'm pick this up. Also, I think these weapons, like, the Volkssturmgewehr did exist, but they were, like, issued to, like, civilian self-defense groups, not really, like, Germ frontline German soldiers. Still, it's, like, not implausible that they could be here, especially since it's the end of the war. Uh, also, no, this was... The Volkssturmgewehr was a... basically a very crude, semi-auto-only weapon. Um, It was actually so crude that if you, you know, if the weapon malfunctioned, it was better just throw it away than try to fix it. Like, it really wasn't worth it. Oh. Stop. Stop. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry I, I keep stopping this video, but... This was not a thing. Um, I think in World War One maybe, but no, but... The Mauser did not have um, detachable box magazines, at least in World War II. Yeah. Fuck that gun, I'm going back to the stand. It's not perfect, but this is a fucking, like, mostly functional gun. Eh, uh, look, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I gotta move on. I'm, I could be here all day. How do I get off this fucking train? Let's not chance it! Take the roof this time! The MG42. Uh, yeah, the MG42 is missing the flash hider muzzle brake. Um, fun fact, that muzzle brake is actually a critical component of the gun. Like, it forms, it's a critical part of the gas system, meaning that without that, this gun should not fire. Or at least not cycle. Like, you got a single shot weapon at most. Also, he is carrying way too much gear. Um, yeah. How do I get in the recon? Get out of my way. Klauser. That was a Luger. I don't know why they call it the Klauser. Copyright, maybe. I don't know. Fucking death? I just jumped through the roof. Heads up! We got trapped! It's incredible that, like, no one's warned the train driver by now, and, like, they haven't stopped the train. What? Wait, wait, I'm sorry. 
Last time, I promise. Last time I stopped the game because of a gun. That is a Japanese Type 11 machine gun. In Europe. In, in Germany. Like, no. Like, that Again, that was a real gun, but no, it did not see service in Europe. This was a Japanese only, like, th this gun was only used by Japanese forces in, like, the Pacific. What the fuck is it doing here in in, Bro in Hamburg in 1945? This does not belong. It does not compute. Jerry's are on that train. Screw this. I'm going to the roof. There's no cover up there. He's not listening. Come on. Shit. Fuck. Uh, she's carrying a uh, Mosin the Gaunt uh, M. That's a that's a model 30 variant. Uh, 1891 30 variant. The sniper with the curved bolt. Yeah. Anyway. Again, this rifle, the Volkschirmgewehr was a single shot gun. I think they made like a full auto prototype, but I don't think it ever saw service. Like, the whole point of these guns was the whole point of Volkschirmgewehr was to make a mass produce a cheap, crude gun that could be issued to a lot of people in a short amount of time. How the fuck do I get over there? That? I guess not. Alright. supposed to get over there. I'm supposed to like jump on that truck or something? Uh, I will give them credit, the music is kind of nice. I mean, it's kind of generic, but, you know. It's just fun. It's just nice to listen to. Yeah, what the fuck else? What, what, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to kill them? Low ammo. Yeah, that's another thing I remember about this game. Um, it's very difficult to find ammo. Especially when you're like me and trying not to pick up anachronistic guns. <laughs> um, yeah, I really commit to the bit when I play these games. Like, you know, I, I go out of my way to make sure I pick, like, period accurate guns. I guess I am supposed to jump over there. Back to the... Oh, it worked. Oh. Why are they wearing... Oh, wait, no. Never mind. <laughs> that was me. That was my own guy. Um, thought they were wearing the, the white German snow uniforms, like, for the... Like, the you know, in the Eastern Front, but no. I'm 
Panzerkampfwagen, um, or, or I don't know what that, but that is, that armored car in the back, that looks pretty accurate, um, for fuck's sake, so I'm dying so much guys, but, <laughs> this game doesn't do a very good job of telling you where to go. That soldier... Why is he wearing a, like a modern day plate carrier? Like that looks like a 2000s era like armor plate carrier. It's kind of hard to see, but... Yeah. Fuck it. Again, missing the, um, the front, the flash hider on the gun. This gun should not cycle because the gas system would be totally like, non-functional. Who the fuck is shooting at me? Okay. Watch oh, The graphics are good. Um, what the? Okay. Yeah, he's wearing a plate carrier. Yeah, those did not exist. Okay. okay, his looks relatively good, but. Um, uh, and yeah, those are paratroopers. Like you can tell by the helmet. Um, fuck, just vanished. But yeah, I don't think the, I don't think the German paratroopers saw combat this late in the war, at least not, yeah, at least not in these large numbers. Also, they did not wear plate carriers, like, those are, like, late nine, late nineties, like, 2000s era plate carriers. I'm gonna flank it! Get those cherries! I got the fire rate more or less accurate. Oh, shit. The creature signed up blood attack! Oh, for fuck's sake. That is a STG-44 with a drum magazine, and that is also not accurate, because that, that is an 8mm drum, but that's for an 8mm Mauser, not an 8mm Kurtz, and the rounds are very different sizes, so I think whoever designed this, modeled this, just googled 8mm drum and didn't make sure that it was the right you know, the right brand of ammunition, the right type of gun ammunition. Anyway. No back, shoot the driver! I'm surprised he hasn't stopped the train already. Yeah, why has nobody stopped this train already? Like this Jump soldier! your uncle. Yeah, again, they're in the middle of an air raid. All the lights in the building Fuck should be here. should be out right now. Now that we've been properly shot at, might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? What, they sent you on this mission without That's telling you? Base is our final stop. Once we're in... But that, that doesn't make sense. E e e like, setting aside the historical inaccuracy of the setting, um, they just sent these guys into this this critical mission without even telling them where they were going or what they were doing. Uh, that's really poor planning. <laughs> anyway. We moved to secure the objective. He wants us to secure it, but he won't tell us what it is. Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get-go. This ain't just another Easter egg. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, mate, what's the bloody story? We don't quite know. You mean the SO fucking E doesn't quite know? You know what? I'm gonna go pull the brakes. All we have is a name. Phoenix. <laughs> so we got no idea what we're up against. That's the mission. To find out. SOE 
says the Krauts are moving something big out of Germany. Where? Where out of Germany? Like, there's nowhere else for them to go. Like, the whole... Like, Germany is, like, surrounded on pretty much all sides. Um, like, there's nowhere to move the anything out of. Uh, whatever. I... Again. The holiest of Hot gonna cod. We are here to pinch it. If this is so important, why did they not send an army? Good fucking question. The six of us. Oh. Mate, we're not from the same army. Hell, we're not even from the same continent. Quiet! Get back! Why were we chosen for this fucking suicide mission? Because the developers wanted to shoehorn progressive politics into a World War II video game. That's why. Too loud. Too slow. Which is right. They won't see us coming. In and out with those papers before they know it. Do we up... I just like the idea that, like, they just, like, shot up a whole train, like, like exchanging heavy gunfire with all of these soldiers, blew up, like, I don't know, several trucks, and, like, n not only did the guy in the train not stop the train, but he didn't even notify anyone else about what was happening. I, I get it, it's game, you know, it's Call of Duty, you know, it 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 it's gotta have its over-the-top, you know, campaign, but, come on, you know. Understand the plan. I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan. Uh, whoever wrote that line, may God have mercy upon your soul. May God have mercy upon your soul. That was probably the worst one-liner I have ever heard in a video game. And Ride to Hell Retribution exists. The entrance is past the rail yard, just across these tracks. Let's get those papers before Jerry's any wiser. What the fuck? Is that a P mag? It is! Like, okay. I'll cover you from this box car. Polymer magazines were not using the MG42, they're using the MG3, and they weren't invented until like the 1960s. Yeah, that's anachronistic. But really, I could be here all day going over all the anachronistic guns here. Kind of. Shit. Hate dogs. Let's get it done. Don't kill the puppy. Sorry, puppy. I don't want to kill you. Sorry, puppy. I always hate doing that in Call of Duty. Having to kill the dogs. Yeah, I, I get it. Sorry, puppy. Sorry, pooch. I'm surprised, like, there are this many soldiers guarding, have, like, they should all be in, like, Berlin. Um, or, you know... <laughs> and this base should have been bombed to, you know, bombed to shit by now. Like, we're like a month, probably even less than that, before Germany falls. Come on. Again. Winter clothing for these Germans. Like again, it doesn't make sense. Fuck. Oh, that's cool. Looks like a Mark II grenade. I don't know. Is this a Mills bomb? No, no. Oh no, no, the, no, that's just. I don't fucking know. I don't remember. Or... Oh. Come on, die. Let me get through this game faster. It's harming my... Shit. I will say there are points in this game that are, like... Even yeah, despite the inac there. historical inaccuracy, it is kind of fun to play. I just wish that it was they gave like half of a fuck about historical accuracy. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. Wow, that was one deadly dog. Like, it touched me and I lose almost all my health. Uh. Yeah, I think 
This is, if this is like a gas line, I would not be taking cover behind it, but... Move it! I guess they didn't. Everyone inside! Yeah, this group of six people can somehow route an entire fucking garrison. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, people... Move. People got mad at Call of Duty World War II for being too Hollywood. Again, more paratroopers. I don't know what they're doing here. I think maybe... Fuck, 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 fuck. Again with that stupid... Again, he's carrying shotgun ammo. Um, the Wehrmacht, aside from the Luftwaffe with the M30 drilling rifle, um, the dr or drilling shotgun, I'm sorry, the Wehrmacht did not carry shotguns. Yeah, again. With this, like, a shotgun that is real but did not see the military service. At most, it'd be like the property of some officer or something who brought it with him. But you would not have, like, this many troops with him. Look for the command rope. This must be it. Move. Move, Lucas. Go, go, you. Yeah, two sh <laughs> Whatever. No, I'm- I'm- Jackson, get the door! Well, Mr. Heller, are you funny. fucking deaf? Like, Looks the soldiers like are just patrolling around- They didn't hear that huge gun battle just going on outside. <sighs> Phoenix, we must be close. Not for long. Uh, why does it have the SA logo on it? See that lot lugging that chest? I bet you London to a brick. That is what we're after. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Now we're talking. Wait. We he has no one gun. That's Arthur. What type is in those what kind of, is the oh. best kept secret in the third row? That's like a steampunk stand. I don't think they. So it it looks like a stand outfitted with like a wooden like stock and foregrip. On the front porch with I don't know if that was a thing. I know the stand had some like weird um, attachments and variations and all that, but I don't know. I don't know if that's a thing. That suppressor certainly doesn't look like it belongs there. You're saying Nazis are keeping secrets from Nazis? I'm saying the ones in charge of the secrets are the most dangerous. Yeah. That's why we brought the guns. To shoot them. Uh, whoever wrote this needs to be court-martialed. I swear to God, Germany. the dialogue is the catwalk, painful. Make noise. Bias time. Also, Weapon again, he has a Japanese Type 100 submachine gun. I mean, they were rare as is. The Japanese army only, like, fielded a couple, like, maybe 2,000 of them. Um, and, you know, they Go. obviously never made their way to Europe, so I don't know how he has that. Let alone find ammo for it. <laughs> Oh yeah, now they raise the alarm. Okay. We'll cover you from the catwalk. Man, look for a way out of this truck. Don't shoot us, or we'll leave without you. So, looks like um. Uh, uh, I have to get my um my uh book out again, but that U-boat looks pretty good. The camouflage pattern, I think, is a little. I, I don't. I don't fucking. Uh, doesn't matter anyway. Submarine looks relatively good, though. Um, I feel like whoever designed like the vehicles in this game, like, tried to do the research. See, yeah, there's a swastika, so apparently it wasn't a problem. Um, I don't know why. It's like they selectively remove it in some parts, and other parts they don't. Oh, I want to get rid of this gun. Let me find a period. I mean, we kick the hornet's nest. At least that's not a minefield this time. Enemies moving. Fuck. Now, I was complaining about the lack of a German response. Well, I guess, like, the game gave me the finger. Come on. Uh. Fuck. Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. No, that's not what I meant. 
Yeah, I think I blew myself up. Oh dear. Yeah, even the quotes when he, even even they're cringeworthy. It's like, like the allies were not like hyper progressive, you know, social justice warriors like they are today. I mean, and I'm, I'm not I'm not saying like that social justice causes are a bad thing. It's just we hadn't, I guess, matured to that yet. Um, like they they make it out like the allies were like the. The Allies were could, um, were completely flawless during World War II. Like they had no prejudices whatsoever, um, and it was only the Germans who were racist and all that. Like that's not true. I mean, obviously the Germans were worse, but like it's rewriting history. I, I really don't like that. You can take liberties with it, um, but keep it within the realm of like plausibility. Oh, that's gonna set me all the way back. To Oh, was I supposed to use that sniper rifle? Um, the scope is wrong, but this is not a holographic sight. It doesn't appear to be. Yeah, it's, the scope is wrong, though. The reticle should not be a uh, crosshair. I think it should be like a three, three prong sight. Hey, at least he reloads it the right way. Because there's a scope in the way, there's no stripper clip. At least I got that right. Enemies retreating! Come on. Gotcha. Oh, I took, yeah, I took that guy's head off. Damn. Fuck. Stop shooting at me. <laughs> Again, paratroopers. At least that's not a minefield this time. Their gear looks more like. Okay, guess I'm out of ammo for that gun. Shit. Then do it. Getting torn apart here. Fuck. That's why, so MG42. What? How am I not landing these shots? I mean, I know the Sten was inaccurate, but. The cherries are getting away! Isn't that the point? Oh, fuck. Please don't tell me we have a time limit or something here. Come on. The rate of fire is a little fast for this gun, but I don't know. If it is, it's not by much. Hey, at least I got the mag capacity right. I don't know what the fuck that was. I don't. Um, that was not a. Okay. What? <laughs> it's funny. He has an American hand grenade. Or allied hand grenade. Oh god. Our squad are on the catwalk! 
Oh, for fuck's sake. No. What have you done? What have you done to my MP40? Oh. Jesus Christ. I swear the people who designed this, who designed the gunplay this game have probably never even seen a real gun in their entire life. Fuck's sake, I've never even fired a gun, but, I mean, I've held real ones, but, and real World War II era ones, but I've never fired one, but even I somehow, like, know more about them than whoever developed this game. Oh, another U-boat. Uh, that's pretty good. That... We've gotta catch that sub! Sorry. Sorry. I mean, it's not going any going anywhere. We're oh. out of Nazis! I saw him load the crate on that sub! How do I get there? Yeah, how do I get on? How do I get there? Like I said, this game does not give, does not do very well at telling you where to go. At least in this level. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, well, oh, that's right. Yeah, I could have used that. There's the hatch! This is it, lads! Look how that German crate just happens to have stun ammo in it. Well, actually, they did use a similar chain uh, cartridge. Let's find so. that crate and get out of here! Yeah. Richard, watch our backs! No back. You take the lead! Eyes straight ahead! Watch the ricochet! Uh. Stop the sub. That right. I don't think that's a real. Hurry! Call Why does he have an officer's die. map? Shut up, Arthur. Get back! Get back! Clear the map. Fuck! 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 Again. Ah! What the fuck was that? Oh. Uh. Are you gonna move? You're all right. It's got to be the command room. Let's get that hatch open. Stay close. How do I get? Tossing grenade. Get oh. down. Maybe really? I should leave this mission. Move. There's like, there's no one. Oh, Xbox. Again, why does it have the SA logo on it? Like, the Sturmab Tailung was the. They were like the. They were the, um. The infamous brown shirts. But, like, after the Night of the Long Knives in 1934, like, they were kind of like sidelined. That Like, they, they, they were never really a. Like, they still existed, but they never really played a part. And they never really played a big part in World War II. Um, I think they were involved in the invasion of Poland, you know, the in the in the battle again in the taking of the Polish post office in Danzig. There were some SA men there, but like I'm seeing SA logos every on like a lot of <clears throat> excuse me on a lot of um like documents and boxes and in, in in this mission, and that doesn't make sense. It'd be more likely they would have the SS logo, if any logo at all. You want to Just shoot the damn lock. I mean, <laughs> Arthur, the sirens are stopped. That can't be good. We gotta move now. Nevek, help me. Was that a stun grenade? Uh, because if it is, that would be inaccurate. The first stun grenades were like flash or flashbangs. They didn't exist until like the 1960s. Um, that didn't look like a stun grenade to me, though. I mean, the explosion looked like one, but... It's either a stun grenade, or, for some reason, that grenade just... 
didn't kill them, um, which is also equally unlikely. But yeah. Rick! We get our stereotypical mustache twirling I, I, Nazi villain. This accent and all, you know. <laughs> oh boy! Again, see that that paratrooper in the back is wearing a modern like body armor plate carrier. Um, those did not exist. Um, and I, oh yes. Get on with it. By the light, you. You think you're British? A Cambridge man, through and through. So, you know better than to ruin a man's evening. Looks like he's wearing a brown shirt, like the an SA uniform under the black coat. I don't I'm, the matter has under the SS reason. jacket. But the man should be wearing the so white dress shirt. Full attention. But I could I, I could be wrong, could be the lighting. Does the Nico give orders Ooh. in English too? And do you follow them? Sie wissen, wie es ist, von einem schwarzen Befehler entgegenzunehmen. Er spricht auch Deutsch! Spricht auch gut Deutsch. Please. Proceed. Your Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who looked like me carry guns in your streets. Marry your women. Now, I will give props to Vanguard there. That is accurate. Um, French colonial troops, like from the French colonies in, in Sub-Saharan Africa, were actually involved in the occupation of the Rhineland. Um, now, he says they married their woman. Uh, sort of. Um, it's still, like, um, the... I would say they kind of forced themselves on the woman. I mean, some of that... A lot of it was drummed up by Nazi propaganda. They called it the Black Horror on the Rhine. Um, a lot of it was just, like, unfounded, you know, racist propaganda. But um, I, I, I will give Vanguard credit. They did do research. That they seem to have done research there. There were actually black... French troops um, during the occupation of the Rhineland. Um, it's probably one of the this is probably one of the few times they actually got something right when it comes to World War II history. Anyway, that's what I hear when you speak German. <laughs> Charming. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us, thrashing you again. Thrashing. Uh -oh. <laughs> thrashing. What an interesting choice of words. I told you already. Get on with it. Yes. That's what you want. To sacrifice yourself. To be a, a leader. I'm not here to give you what you want. I can't read the the Quite a thing on the on his cuff. Oh fuck! Goodbye, character. We were just introduced to and have no other backstory on. Um. So I guess I'm dead now. Take him away. Dispose of that. Oh, I was close. Put the rest in the truck. Why wouldn't you just kill them? I mean, you really have no excuse to keep them still alive. Like, there's, there's no reason they would not just kill them on the spot. Like, for the few resistance leaders who were captured during this time, most of them were just executed right away. Like, there's no reason to parade them around your 
ruin the city in front of all your secrets and keep them alive. That doesn't make sense. Novak. Jesus Christ. People die. People die when command fucks up. How exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him. And on Wade. How? Bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes. Let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Freisinger is going to kill us all. Freisinger? Honestly, I'm surprised he hasn't already. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh yeah, what kind Forget of Forget Freisinger! Oh, this is like us out of this. inglorious bastard. What? Because he's your mate? Except, you know, he wasn't always. whatever. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. Okay, um, so that was the end of the first mission. Um, yeah, uh, there are only nine missions in this campaign, and um, this is one of the nine, so really, and this is a really short one, so I'd say more like eight. I'd really only call it like eight missions. Um, but yeah, uh, this is really only the beginning of Vanguard's, uh, uh, of the suffering that um, I will go through by playing Vanguard through again. Um, but yeah, somebody who, you know, I, I've been interested in World War II history like since I was like seven or eight years old. Um, it really hurts to see how badly, badly they butchered it. Even when the game is fun to play at times, admittedly. But, God... Yeah, so let's end the first mission. Um, I will be filming, I guess, playing some of the other ones. I know um, Anamarchy History has already done a lot of that. Um, I actually have a lot of respect for the guy. He's kind of inspired me to make these kinds of videos. Um, but I don't really just want to repeat what he did. Um, I mean, I might look over the missions that he covered himself, but, you know... Yeah, you know, I, I I just have to like put my mind there. I I have to like get this off my chest because this is the historical inaccuracy, this inaccuracy and disregard for history in this game is really unforgivable. And I think this, you know, this this should have been a wake up call to call to Call of Duty to, you know, um, take World War Two history more seriously. Like if you're gonna make a World War Two game, do it right, you know. So, yeah, um, that's it for this episode. Um, I'll be releasing more as usual. So, yeah, uh, till next time.